Ronin Show. call out by the Brock Lesnar fan is really funny to me. I don't know why, but I find this hilarious that this guy, well, I don't know, he got on the, he gets on the AEW payroll and he goes, well, I'm just going to crap on WWE now. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to watch WWE and call them out for stuff, which I, I think is pretty funny that he's calling out WWE for things. I like that. What's up, chat? See if we can get everybody lit up here tonight. I went live with a very little notice, so hopefully you guys hit that like button and stick the thumb directly up my ass. Yeah, Elon Musk has a big one. Um, <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. How are you guys doing tonight? Hope everybody's well. It's Tuesday night. It's been a fun. We had a couple of great weeks last couple of weeks, and I uh, figured we'll come on. Oh, where'd I go? I'm back. Oh my god, I'm back. And so you guys seem to like Tuesday night, so I told you I'd be here. Just matter of getting home let's see so we talked about this the other day that the guy from the Brock Lesnar guy Batista guy whatever he is I don't know the guy was showing how WWE reused fan footage so we're going to show some more of that tonight people were trying to get down and I don't know, get to the point of this whole thing And we got some more news on it. We got uh, Elon Musk is going to let Trump back on Twitter. So that should piss off a whole bunch of people. Find that funny. Exciting stuff. And how are you guys doing tonight? I hope work was fun today. Did anybody uh, experience a shooting at work today? Because that's exciting when that happens. It didn't happen to me. I'm just saying it would, you know, it would be exciting if that happened. I was watching this like shootout videos earlier and I saw a new one. I thought it was really funny. This guy fucking clubs a guy over the head. The guy's like, give me all the money, you know, blah, 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 pulls out his gun. And the clerk is like, oh, shit. All right, let me give you the And then he just grabs something from the bar, from the... Not the bar, but behind the counter and just waffles him over the head with it. And I'm like, oh my God, that was hilarious. This guy gets absolutely friggin'. This guy gets creamed right in the back of the head. That means Alex Jones has to come back to Twitter as well. 
So how do we get Alex Jones back on Twitter, I guess, too? Everybody's coming back to Twitter. We're back, baby. Twitter's back. Everybody's back. Now, if I was Alex Jones, I would start doing my InfoWars show from Twitter at this point. Because you're banned on YouTube. You're banned on everywhere. You're banned on Instagram. You're banned on Facebook. Your own website is the only place you can go, and you've got no reach that way. So the, the, the best thing you can do if you're Alex Jones is just put out tons of clips and start to try to grow again after he's gone bankrupt for all the lawsuits he's involved in. So um, that's so he could come back, you know, which I think everybody bring everybody back. You know what I mean? Bring everybody back to Twitter. I'm telling you, bring everybody fucking back. What up, Nico? How you doing, man? Uh, Trump is coming back. They're turning the damn frogs gay. Do you understand? I'm really seriously pissed off because last night our Internet shut down on on Infowars.com. Our, our Internet went down. And that's because the liberals got their way. The the insane, and I'm not saying all liberals. I like some of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying the, the crazy ones, the maniacs. Because, I, I, l- listen, they're demons, man. They're trying to eat my, they will eat our children's private parts is what I'm trying to tell you. No, but I I can't wait till Alex is back. Weird thing is, half the shit he says comes true. That's the weird thing. The other half is retarded and gets people hurt. Uh, but hey, that's like CNN. So hey, it'll be a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Hey, if CNN gets to keep doing it, why can't Alex Jones? That's what I don't understand. CNN is allowed to keep lying about everything, but Alex Jones can't. Why? CNN's been sued a million times. CNN lied about the Covington kid. They're sued. CNN lied about Kyle Rittenhouse. They're gonna get sued. CNN lied about this, that, and the other thing. They're getting sued. They're getting sued the other day from somebody. Um, uh, they're getting sued all over the place. So is an Alex Jones because when you say things that are slanderous and wrong, you get sued, and the, and guess what? You lose. And uh, so far, Alex Jones has lost like three out of five cases, and CNN has lost four out of five cases. So there you go. Bam. Why can't, why can't, why, why, I have no problem with it as long as everybody gets their own, I don't mind anybody being around as long as you give the same treatment to everybody. You know what I mean? Just give the same treatment to everybody. And then I'm, I'm down with it all. You know, just treat everybody the same. And I'm happy. Whether wrong, right, whatever. It's cool. It's cool to me. Just treat everybody the same. That's all. Ah, oh, boy, what's up, everybody? Alex Jones is going bankrupt. That's true. Like he's in trouble. I think he. I think he already claimed bankruptcy. I think. I think he already claimed that. I'm going. I mean, that's what happens when you're, you know, you're up against the system like he was, you know. But why? Why isn't CNN going bankrupt yet? They should go bankrupt, too. Nobody really watches them anymore, but, you know. I don't know how anybody watches the news. YouTube's way too fun. It's too fun to be here, isn't it? But a lot of us need to kind of step away. You know, a lot of people need to step away from all the terrible. Like, they need to, like, go into their own cocoon and, you know, um, sort of, you know, get away from all the, the negativity of online. Take back yourself, you know. Infamous WWE superfan, the Brock Lesnar guy, as they report on uh, Wrestling Inc. Um, he released the footage. WWE using rehashed footage of himself when he attended an episode of Monday Night Raw back in 2012. So he's being exposed for this. Pretty crazy. We've all seen it probably by now, but if you haven't seen it, it's made its rounds everywhere. You can't even show it probably. You get a WWE copyright of some kind, but he wrote Recycled Lesnar Guy. And then they cut to him in the front row at a event from 2012 which is just fucking bizarre as 
And he's like, yo, what the hell? I'm at home right now. I don't know what's going on. You gonna need surgery on your face just like you had it on your boobies. <laughs> you gonna need surgery on your face like you need it on your boobies. Dude, does anyone see how fake John Cena is now talking like that? Like, does anybody get how fake John Cena is now with that? Yo, I'm from the mean streets of West Newbury, Massachusetts. Where West Newbury, Massachusetts has giant homes and a median salary of now $90,000 a year. Wow. Yo, that's the mean streets. Let me tell you something. But then this is the same guy who wore New York Yankees stuff places. You know, I don't give a shit who he is. You don't do that. John Cena, you fake. You fake piece of shit. And you're an actor now, so go figure. I knew it. I knew he was a fake play, I, you know, playing around, playing games. I knew it. God damn it. Elon Musk is bringing Trump back to Twitter, so that will piss everybody off. Even though Trump says he won't come back to Twitter because Trump has his own... Uh, social media thing now so I, I don't know if trump will come back to twitter he might come back to twitter i bet you if he came back to twitter he would just tweet one thing he'd be like hey everyone it's great to be back but i'll be on truth social like that's probably all he's gonna do he's gonna tweet out find me on truth social that's what trump's gonna do he's gonna come back and say hey find me on truth social that's what, he's just gonna use twitter as a marketing thing when he comes back so i, I think i mean so un until Truth Social fails or whatever, you know, everyone looking forward to his tweets are probably going to be disappointed because I, I think he's just going to push his own thing, Um, I believe. What up, Inspector Todd? Thanks for the tweet, man. If you guys can, hit that like button and stick the thumb way up my asshole, okay? Will you do that? Way up my asshole. It was a long, hard day at work, but I'll tell you, only two people died at work today, so everything is okay. No, I'm just kidding. Imagine that. You go to the sales meeting, two people are dead. You know, Chuck Perry died today. Chuck Perry died yesterday. He was hit by a fucking bus. He was hit by a fucking car. He was. He was. Yeah, he was hit by a fucking car. He was unloading some shit. And a fucking car took out Ch Paul Perry or whatever the fuck I said. I don't remember his name. That'd be fucking hilarious. Anyway, speaking of hilarious, let's check it out. Really it's mysterious. Super chat. Ooh, super chat. Thank you. Really Mysterious says, hate Alex Jones, but love your impression of him, Joe. Do a conversation between him and Jesse Ventura. I think I've done that before, but let's think of something. Peace and love from the north of the border. Hey, Really Mysterious, hang in there, man. Love you, bro. Thank you for that. Well, you know something? I, I used to hate Alex Jones myself, but now I am him. Man, my, I, can't, I can't even do it. I got to get a throat thing. My throat's fucked up. Why'd, why would you invite me into the studio? Well, I think people people really want to hear what you have to say, Jesse. The bottom line is, people believe you, people trust you. They really wish you would run for a, for a, for president of the United States of America. And God knows you'd be a greater representation between these hobgoblins on the left and the right. And uh, you'd really, I think you'd mend the country. Well, I was gonna run, but my wife convinced me not to do it. So we moved to Mexico, and I work for Russian. RT, the news network. I could never run for president now. They would just dig up all the videos of me doing videos for Russian, the news network, and they'd say I was some kind of a spy or confidant. Well, I mean, that's what they do, man. They paint you, uh, they, they diminish you, and they paint you in a bad light. They say you're a, a Russian spy if you're good. Look at what they did to Tulsi Gabbard. Exactly. Look at what they did to Tulsi Gabbard, who's a sweetheart of a person, and she's been basically been ghosted by the American public. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't really have it tonight with my throat being fucked up. But, yeah, Tulsi Gabbard's a fucking hero as far as I'm concerned. Lewis. Erdinetta. Long-time guy. Became a member. Thank you. Lewis Erdinetta. How you doing, my friend? The Tyler Keller Show. Sub into the channel. Thank you to the Tyler Keller Show. We love you. Jay Cherry subscribed to the channel the other day. Thank you, Jay Cherry. Much appreciated. And shout out yesterday to Soundwave92, who dropped the brand new, the brand new $30 donation. And he acknowledged me yesterday on the show during the Raw Review. Soundwave92 and uh, D. Welsh, they acknowledged me, which there is no better thing you can do than to acknowledge me. Chris Kyle lied on my name, says Nico. Okay. It's weird. Um, thanks. Uh, really mysterious. How you doing? Jesse the body. 9-11 was an inside job. Anybody could see it. But they fooled the American public for like five or ten years until it was safe to finally question a lie. That's what they do. <laughs> um, what up, Evo? I was a Navy SEAL. My wife has is blind. My wife needs marijuana so her eyes don't hurt. Does your wife need that? Do you understand the glaucoma that my wife deals with? Some The only thing that helps my wife is prescribed cannabis and when I bash her in the eyeball. Sometimes I just bash her in the eyeball until she comes. <laughs> Oh, God. Imagine that. That'd be fucked up. Really mysterious. Hate Alex Jones, but love your impression of him, Joe. Thank Please you. Please do a conversation between him and Jesse Ventura. I Peace guess we got the... love from north of the border. Oh, thank you, man. I think your alert played twice, but that's on you. I don't think it charges twice. Love you. Um, Do I like Apple products? Not really, because I used to have an Apple, and it fucked up, and then I bought a G5 in 2005. And then they switched to an Intel and screwed up all my programming, and so fuck Apple. But they have good products, usually. If they didn't rig their products so you had to buy a new one every three years or two years, I would love. I, I would kind of like Apple. But um, you know the flexibility of a PC and the price and the fact that they don't fuck with you, you know. so I choose PC for sure over uh, Apple. Um, Apple makes great stuff, but they purposely make it shitty as well, so it doesn't make any sense. They purposely limit their own product to upcharge you, and I, I, I'm sorry. If I'm rich, maybe. If I'm rich, I might have. I'd have a whole bunch of Apple products. If I was rich, I'd be like, oh, what's the tablet cost? With the, uh, I need 300 gigabytes. Oh, what's the tablet? Oh, it's two thousand dollars. Okay, yeah, give me the Apple. You know, but like right now, no, I'm buying the hundred and fifty dollar fucking shitty tablet, or I'm buying the computer that's regular. I'm not buying it. You know what I mean? Like no way. Apple is for rich people. It's not, if you're buying an Apple and you're not rich, you're fucking stupid. You know, or you worked really hard to save, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's fucking product for rich people or stupid people who keep upgrading it every year or whatever dumb fuck they've rigged it on you. And now, now they're a communist company, so fuck Apple up the asshole. You know what I mean? Joe, how much can you bench coming from an avid lifter god i don't know I, I i haven't tried that in fucking 2008 2008 i think I'm trying to see if i have it I want to say that it was, I, I don't know, bro. I can't remember. It was like something 300 something. It was 300 something. I don't remember now. It was like low, it was like, I don't know, man. I want to say it was like three 315 or something. Maybe. Is that a lot? I don't even know if that's a lot or a little or what. I might, I don't know. It's like three something. For all I know, it could be 309, but I think it's, I think it's 315. I, I but again, I don't remember. And it was probably 2009 or 10. 
Um, I was skinnier probably. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong with my numbers. I don't even know. I'm not a big weights guy, but like when I was at wrestling school, I went out with guys and we would that we would do things like that. And that's how I've got the number in my head at this point. Could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Could be two ninety. Could be two ninety. I, I have no clue. Two ninety five. I think I really do think it's three hundred something though. It's three something. But I could be wrong. So it's 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 low low three hundred something like that. Take a guess. Somewhere between three hundred, somewhere between three hundred and three twenty, and I don't know. Probably low, right? Like three hundred one, three hundred nine is probably what it really is. But I, I seem to remember the 319s or 315s or something like that. But I don't remember. Can't I can't remember. I should go do that, and we should do that on live stream. What's up, Joel? Have a great show, brother. What's up, Love T-Rev? Gesture. What up, T-Rev? It's a super chat. Let's see you super chat that a bitch up. super chat. <laughs> Thank you, T-Rev. Much appreciated, brother. Get wet. Um, I don't really have any muscles right now either. Look at my... Like, Ah, look at that. Ah. I don't even lift at all any right now. Like this is what we got. Ah. Like, I don't lift anything. Not a damn thing. I lift my kids. You know? But if I if I worked out, you know, then we would get the look at all the mosquito bites on my arms. Ah. Got Popeye arms. Let's go. Let's see. Bars 45 plus 640. 316. Wouldn't it be great if it was 316? I probably would have remembered that. I feel like if I had bench pressed 316, I would have remembered that. I'm like, dude, 316. Holy shit. Oh, chin ups. If I. No, I could probably not do, man. I could probably do. I would be lucky to do one chin up at this point. But if I could get one chin up going, I could probably do one, two, or three, and I doubt it. I doubt it. I might not do one right now. You need some help, brother, says Raphael. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I'm totally not I'm in full dork mode, bro. I, I don't have no muscle right now. I need I need to exercise, I need to run. I'm way behind. I'm way out of shape. I've been so concerned with financial stuff over the last couple of months that my my workout regimen's gone. It's all out the window. It's all gone. It's all dead. Um, get those bounce dryer sheets, Joe, and shove them in your pockets. Bugs hate those. Avoid mosquitoes that way. Oh, it's a good idea. Uh, this got me while I was sleeping one night, though. I didn't even realize it. They just tore me up. Mosquitoes just tore me the frig up, bro. God damn, they ate me. They ate my ass. They ate my fucking face. How about my buddy uh, the other night on Raw, dude? Rex Lawless on WWE Raw the other night. Did you guys see that? I couldn't. I was dying, bro. Last, remember when I called a Re I called Rex Lawless versus uh, the Superman guy. Remember that? Mike Verna. It was Mike Verna versus the Man of Steel. Mike Verna versus Rex Lawless. And then Rex Lawless is on Raw last night, and I was dying. I was dying. Come on, people. Please show Joe some love. 69 chat. No. Really mysterious. Thank you, bro. What's up, man? Is the whole crew here? Remember this? This was the match I called with one of the... one of the I've called a lot of matches with him, but this is one of the matches I called with Rex Lawless. Now, Rex, the other night on Raw, he was going by the name Frank for whatever reason. I think it was Frank, right? I was like, what the fuck? Frank. Fuck, is he calling himself Frank? Who said that? Remember this? Brother Lawless, Mike downstairs, up and over, goes Rex Lawless, and again, this time Mike Verner is showing up. Lawless. Lawless upstairs with a hurricane run, oh, wow. Why didn't Rex Lawless do that last night against Veer Mahan? Why didn't he do that move? It worked, it worked against this guy. Should have done that last night. They were calling this guy Wardlow, like, like, 
make a, uh, make a wish Wardlow or or wish Wardlow <laughs> like they were just oh my god they tore Rex Lawless apart on Twitter. Major problem for Verna. Here comes Verna and up and over he goes. He held on. Lawless again coming up and over him and now he's trying to work on that hand. <laughs> I don't know why but Lawless cracks me up. Under a clothesline, a clothesline now by Verna, and now another one falls and up rocks the big man down. I love watching. I don't know why Rex Lawless is a big, sloppy man to me. He is a big, sloppy man. A big, sloppy man, and I love it. I love Rex Lawless cracks me up. So, so when I saw him on Raw last night, I was like watching Raw, and I'm like, there I see him, and I go, is that Rex Law? Ah, like I started laughing my balls off because he's such a goof, funny guy. Funny Here comes dude. Mike Verna. He's getting some momentum in a huge right hand. Vin Vince wouldn't have liked that slap noise. Cut Lawless in the jaw. Now Lawless hangs himself up and suckers in Mike Verna, though. Very smart move by Rex. Look at the titties on Rex, man. He will beat the shit out of you, bro. Pick him up. That's it. Oh, man. Right across the back. Across the back. Mike Verna might have spent all his energy. Choke slams. I felt like I made the best of this match, of this weird slow match, trying to make the best of it, and I actually ended up enjoying this, quite honestly, to be honest. Let's just choke slam Verna into oblivion, and now Lawless with Verna off the rope. Hey, hey, come on, Look out. This is going to be devastating. It is. One, two. Mike Vern is kicking out of these things. <laughs> I really thought Vernon was done there. Like, he was destroyed. He himself trying to bridge on that fisherman. I remember this. Stating moves. Pop Fucking. Heading upstairs. And wait a minute. So is Inferno. He's back to his feet. He's back. Look how loose those ropes are. Those ropes are way too loose. Or at least a little too loose. To his feet. New England All-Star Wrestling. Here in Kingston, and these people are witnessing a gem of a match. And now Mike Verna, look out! Can he hold him? Oh my God! <laughs> Bro, this is Lawless. He, Lawless couldn't even beat Mike Verna to here tonight. One, two, three, Mike Verna! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! The face of Lawless smashed off the canvas! Massachusetts, we are at pins live. Look at this. Boom. And here's the ball. Oh, look at the replay of that devastation from our sponsor, Title Match Wrestling Network. And look at this, able to hold on. And look at the back of the head of Rex. Knocked him out right there. The back of his head. Anyway, uh, so, so yeah, so I've been calling him for a long time. And so last night cracked me up to see him on Raw. Cause he's a great guy, but it's just it was so funny. I'm like, he's gonna be the jobber against Veer Mahan. I've always, I, I've never seen. Th this is the reason why it's funny. I have never seen Rex Lawless win a match. <laughs> I've seen him. I've called like four or five of his matches. I haven't seen him win a match. Now he's on Raw getting d dumpstered. Like it was like, of course, of course he's on Raw getting destroyed. I haven't seen this guy ever win a match, and now he's on Raw and he's getting beat up there. Hilarious. So I, that that really cracked me up to see him um, on Raw getting beat up by, and then the WWE just trolling these guys. Like, who is name this wrestler? Wrong answers only, and just people savagely destroying Rex Lawless, or they called him Frank for whatever reason. What's your name, Frank? Whoa. Someone just sent me a weird picture. Here's uh, Elon talking about Trump coming back to Twitter, I think. Should was it Twitter have permanent bans? Um, and, you know, I've, I've talked with Jack Dorsey about this, and uh, he and I are of the same mind, which is that uh, permanent bans should be uh, extremely rare and really reserved for uh, people where they're trying to uh, for, for accounts that are I think I don't know what he's going to say here but in my opinion permanent bans are for people who are like stalking you 
like stalking like to hurt you like they, like they've attacked you in real life and now they're on Twitter saying they're going to kill you. You know, people making death threats that I'm going to kill you, you little fuck, you know, and starting stuff like that. Like those are the people, you know, the, the, the accounts that get banned and also potentially three strikes in your IP band everywhere. You know what I mean? Like if so, if you make an account and you go, I'll fucking kill you, you prick. You know, I don't think you should be f taken out for that, but you should be sus like suspended for that for like temporarily, like a warning. Um, you know, and um, like, but if you're if you're saying like, here's where your address is, and I'm gonna come kill you, you know that at that point, I think that's a threat of real violence, like in a threat of someone's real home and stuff. So at that point, that's a real police matter, and so that is where you cross the line. And okay, yeah, you can now be banned. Or if you assault someone in real life and post about how great it was on Twitter. Or you're trying to hurt somebody's, you know what I mean? It's got to be, it, once it crosses into actually a legal activity or like targeted harassment bully campaign on purpose, like you're telling your millions of followers to go get somebody and things like that, like physically, like, you know what I mean? Like it has to be, and even that, like are, there can be suspensions before someone's actually permanently banned, right? Like you have to be... Like you have to get warnings and you know tr chances and like it's got to be really hard to get banned for good. You know it's got to be you're crossing into illegal territory. You know, and I I don't know, you know what that means. And um, so it's got to be extreme, pretty extreme, for you to be getting banned on Twitter. I would think. Uh, bots or sp uh, spam scam accounts. Uh, where there's just no legitimacy to the account at all. Um, okay, so you could even be banned for that, apparently. So Jack Dorsey and Elon Musk are on board for that because that could be just if you buy subs, you buy followers like Ryback did. That's why Ryback's one of Ryback's uh, names got banned originally because he bought followers. So he got deleted for spam on Twitter. So Ryback would still be banned, according to Elon Musk. I, I do think that... Uh, uh, it was not correct uh, to uh, ban Donald Trump. I think that was that was a mistake um, because it. Uh, oh, it wasn't a mistake for them. It alienated a large part of the country and did not ultimately result in Donald Trump not having a voice. He is now going to be on Truth Social, um, as will uh, a large part of the sort of the the right in the in the United States, um, and so. I think this could end up being, frankly, worse than having a sing, you know, single forum where everyone can debate. Um, so um, I, I guess the answer He's is right. that I, I, I would reverse the perma ban. I would say I'm not, I don't own Twitter yet, so this is not like a thing that will definitely happen, because what if I don't own Twitter? Um, but my opinion, and Jack Dorsey, I want to be clear, shares this opinion, uh, is that we should... Way to throw Jack Dorsey under the bus. He's probably pissed. ...not have perma, perma bans. Um, now, now, that doesn't mean that somebody gets to say whatever they want to say. If they say something that is um, illegal or um, otherwise, you know, uh, just, you know, just destructive to the world, then, then that there should be perhaps a timeout, uh, a temporary suspension, or, or that particular tweet uh, should be uh, censored, uh, made invisible, or, or have very limited uh, traction. Um, but... I think perma bans just fundamentally undermine trust in Twitter as yep. a, a, a town square uh, where um, everyone can uh, voice their opinion. It was a fun, I, th I think it was a morally bad decision, to be clear, and, and foolish in the extreme. Even, even after <coughs> he egged on the crowd who went to the US Capitol some of them carrying nooses, you still think it was a mistake. Yeah, nobody got noosed. You, you know what I mean? Like, some of them carrying nooses. There are people right now retweeting things that Antifa does. They've clubbed people in the heads with bats and set things on fire and stormed government buildings. They're still on Twitter. This guy's bringing up people with nooses. Nobody was hung. You know what I mean? 
Um, but I do, I do agree that it, that is concerning. Seeing people go to the Capitol with nooses, that's very bizarre. That's concerning. You know what I mean? But I don't think you can, you should ban uh, Trump from Twitter uh, necessarily for that. He didn't say go to the Capitol with nooses and hang people. You know what I mean? Like if he had said that, now there's a problem. I certainly don't agree with egging people on, but right now we're seeing people egg people on right now. Lori Lightfoot from Chicago is telling people to man up arms. Elizabeth Warren says she, she wants everybody to fight like hell and gather. It's the same thing. Maxine Waters said to go up to people in the streets and make them uncomfortable and form a crowd and attack them if you have to and make their lives miserable. Well, they're all on Twitter. Maxine Waters is on Twitter right now. So what's the difference? And the difference is they don't like Trump. That's the difference. None of it's good. I don't agree with any of that, with what anybody did. Don't say it's a call to arms. Don't say we need to go up to people and make their lives uncomfortable. Don't say we're going down to the fucking, you know, to the Capitol and I'll be there and we're all going like that's a bad mistake. All those people, every single one of them have made that mistake. If I'm a person of pow in power and leading our country, you do not say this to people. You don't say we're going to have a rally and I'll meet you down at the Capitol. I'll be there. You know, let's all go down there and show them. You know, you don't do that. If I'm the leader of the world, you know, I don't stand in the street and say, make Republicans' lives uncomfortable. Go up to them wherever they are in their houses, in the streets, and at a gas station and form a crowd. And what? No. That's not what you do. You vote is what you do. You let them know. You write to them. You express your opinions on social medias. You make videos. You campaign. You tell people about why they, they think it's bad. You try to talk to your family. You, you, you know what I mean? You vote the right way. That's what you do. You don't form a crowd and try to intimidate people into what you believe. You certainly have the right to protest. You know, to an extent, it's a protest and to express your feelings. You do. You do have that right. But as a as a person leading the country, as a you know senator or whatever I would be if I was, which I certainly wouldn't be, um, you, you don't you don't you don't you don't gaslight people who could be dangerous or, or you know, what I mean, when you know some people will be dangerous. Most people understand what you're saying. Some people are going to take it too far. You have to know that. You have to know as a leader that some people are going to take it too far. That's why you don't say that. And that's why you don't do that. But one person is banned on Twitter and silenced everywhere. Other people aren't. Very bizarre. Mistake to remove him. I think the if, if there are tweets that are wrong, they should, and bad, those should be uh, uh, either deleted or made invisible. Um, and a suspension, uh, a temporary suspension is appropriate, um, but not a permanent ban. So if the deal completes, he might potentially come back on, but with the understanding that if he does something similar again, he'll be back in the sim bin. Uh, he has publicly stated that he will not be coming back to Twitter um, and that he will only be on Truth Social. And this is the point that I'm trying to make, which is perhaps not getting across, is that, there, is that banning Trump from Twitter didn't end Trump's voice. It will amplify it among the right. And this is why it is morally wrong and flat out stupid. Dead on. Dead on. Dead on. Now the voices of the extreme right will all echo in an echo chamber made by them and had you banned me which i am banned from twitter technically but i they've given up i think um but had you banned me joe cronin i would be on truth social and when i go to truth social you know what um, my when people that know me said when i said well i i just downloaded truth social they're like oh you're a fucking right wing. i'm like no but i'm banned on twitter where else am i gonna go well why would you go there don't just don't go on there like, where where else am I gonna go if I'm ban if I'm banned? Why do you need to go anywhere? 
I don't know, because it's the biggest place that people exchange ideas and news and talk. Why do you get to be there and I don't? Be- what? Like, so you're creating people, you dumb fuck. You're literally creating opposition. The, the left wing is so stupid that they've created their own fucking opposition. Like, even more. That's how dumb people are. When you ban people, they grow stronger, you fucks. That's why you don't ban people unless they're, like, insanely evil. Like, but, like, that's not even agreed upon. Like, they have to be, like, fucked up. Like, beyond belief. You have to let people talk because only by letting people talk their truth can you know what is evil about them. If you hide them somewhere in a fucking closet, you're never going to know where the evil comes from until it's too late. Stupid. Don't do that. How do I know this? And these leaders don't. Don't ban people. I don't care if you don't like them. Or ban everybody. Keep it equal. As long as you keep it equal, but there's no way to do that. Again, when you so other people call for violence and, and things, they're they're on Twitter. I don't know. I don't understand. Tons of people called for tons of violence and they're on Twitter still. And they attacked the... Seattle's been attacked. Portland's been under attack. These people have all called for attacks and they don't... They're on Twitter. Does this make any sense? The simp bin, someone said. Red Ted Theodore. What up, Joe? Glad we are having Tuesday night stream that isn't wrestling. I agree if you are a leader of a political party you shouldn't lie to your supporters and incite violence. With that said the Minneapolis police building deserved to be burned down. Well, I don't know how you can think that, but maybe you know something about Minneapolis that I don't know about. Asho Cement. What's up? Um Yeah, I mean I don't know about I don't I don't know, man. Burning uh, the police building down? I mean, why? Why does it deserve to be burned down? I'm trying to figure that out. Um, I don't know, Joe. I think inciting an insurrection is grounds enough for a life ban. Also, plenty of Antifa accounts have been permanently banned. Yeah, that's true. You know, they have banned a lot of uh, Antifa accounts, but there's still people that are not banned politically. You know what I mean? You got to remember that a lot of the banned Antifa accounts are people that actually perform those issues. Trump didn't perform the issue. He just simply said, we're going down to the Capitol to march. We're going to march down to the Capitol. Now, that is a dumb thing to say. If I'm the president, I would not do that. If I'm the president, my vice president said, sir, we should announce that we're going down to the Capitol and we're all going to be there. I would say, absolutely not, Jeff. We're going to say that we're going to concede keep everybody safe say that we're skeptical about the results and we're going to be investigating them with lawyers with investigators i will not rest until i have a definitive answer about what really happened here because i believe i won and i believe they cheated us but that being said we're going to concede power and i could be wrong after an investigation i don't know but we will investigate but for right now from what i can see you know we've lost and Congratulations to Joe Biden. He will be your next president. I expect everybody to support him the way they should. Um, And I'll do the work if I find uh, any wrongdoing and I will report it to you. That is my job and my determination and my promise to you Americans that we will make sure that justice was done the correct way. And if it wasn't, I will expose it and I will be back to be your president. And in the next four years when this guy, if this guy does a terrible job, you remember I will be back. But that being said, we're going to have a peaceful transfer of power. Um, and I'll try to work with him as much as I can, you know, going forward. Um, and hopefully he'll work with me. If he doesn't, you'll know about it. If he does, you'll know about it. That, you know, boom. That's what you do. That's what that's what a real leader does. That's what a real leader does. Or you actually just say, let's attack and let's take the whole thing. It's all it's all a scam now. I would respect I respect that more. You know, just being like, hey, you know what? It's it's all a joke. This guy cheated us. It's a coup. I'm taking over. <laughs> you know, like you could do that. That would be, you know, I'd believe because then I'd believe you like, oh, wow, he really believes this. But it, it sounds like, no, 
It's not some middle ground of we're going to march around and fight for the vote was stolen from us. You know, I don't know. But maybe it was stolen. We don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it, though. I don't I don't know. Maybe I don't want to talk about it because it drives me nuts, but it could be true. All the stuff that's come true that we thought was fake and crazy and couldn't happen and has come true. Hey, man, I'm op I'm open to anything. I'm an open minded person. But don't put people's lives in danger. And that's what they did. And that's what Maxine Waters does on the left and several Pelosi on the left and people on the right. Everybody puts everybody's lives in danger and they don't care. But only one person is banned on Twitter. You know? More people have died in other situations and they're still on Twitter. You know? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I wish I could be in charge of this stuff, as I always say, because I just feel like you need to be logical. You need to have people's lives. You need to care about people's lives and care about the people of the country. You need to be able to deliver a speech that's clear and concise and puts people at ease, but is also real. If you can do that, you can be you can be the leader. You can be a leader. You know, storming the Capitol isn't going to help us. Ranting and raving in the streets and protesting isn't going to help us. What is going to help us are the powerful people that I will employ to investigate this situation. And when I have concrete evidence of what's happened and how it's happening and how it could happen, and a full investigation is complete, I will be back here to deliver it to the American people one way or the other. You have my word. Until then, there will be a peaceful transfer of power. And I have no doubt that no matter the result, no matter if the election was stolen, there was some nefarious things going on, or there wasn't, whatever the findings, whatever we conclude, whatever we figure out, what I do know is this. After four years of Joe Biden, if you're not happy... I will be back to run for you. And I think a lot of people who might have voted for Joe Biden might give me a try. And remember how good things were the first three years before COVID of how well I did and how well this country did. And I want you to think about what you're going to have four years of him and see which is better. Look at which presidency was better and then decide. And when I'm back, you might change your vote. But until then... We're going to have a peaceful transfer of power, and I will do everything in my power to support the current president and to make sure that you all know that our system is still legitimate. Congratulations. Good night. To me, that's what a leader does. But that's me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe some people out there have better ideas about what to do. Al Gore once did it. Remember Al Gore? He got screwed by Bush in Florida. And Al Gore came on and conceded. Despite fishy shit going on. Um, take the money out of politics. They're all dirt, says Joe Bishop. You're probably right. Name a good politician. Somebody do it. I can't. Can you? Name a good politician. I'll suck your ass if you can. Where is everybody tonight? Is everybody here? Is there a lot of people watching? 160? I mean, we got a good amount of people watching. Oh, yeah, we do. I didn't look. I thought we had 80 people watching. God damn, man. Hit that like button. Stick the thumb up my rectum if you guys can. And if you really can, pull out those credit cards. And tonight, I'm going to have to need all of you guys to acknowledge me by donating live to the show. There's a brand new $30 acknowledge me donation drop it there if you'd like several different ways to do it shout out to everybody who became a supporter on patreon um tulsi gabbard yes but she's not in politics anymore she's now she's not here anymore i agree i think tulsi gabbard is i'd vote for tulsi she's like one of the only people i'd vote for tulsi gabbard but she's now not in politics anymore yo bro kick what's up 
How you doing? What up, Jag DePanzer? I'd say Donald, but uh, he's not a politician. I would have, if he hadn't done some of that stuff at the end, I, I, I would be solid for him. You know, down there. It's finna been a breeze. Ah! What up, Alexis? It finna be a breeze. Ah! Tony Khan, huge announcement in whacked out voice. I gotta tell you all, I have a huge announcement to make. That's Tony Khan. I'm buying TBS. That's Tony Khan. Imagine that Tony Khan buys TBS, buys the logo, then jams it up his own ass. Tony Khan buys TBS and jams it up his own ass. I got blanked out. Hey, Joe, what's up, everyone? Saturday night, beat the clock, beat the cock stream was hilarious in the final hours. In regards to the stolen 2020 election claims, if Dems actually had the power to cheat, they would have rigged the 2016. Well, you know, I so let me try to figure that one out. Let me try to be devil's advocate. I actually think it's possible that they thought they had 2016 in the bag, so they didn't have to do anything. But once Hillary lost, once Hillary lost, they knew Joe Biden couldn't win, right? So they were like, oh, shit. Hillary lost like Joe Biden. He's fucked and old and he's fucked like, oh, my God, we got to do something. So to me that, you know what I mean? Think about that. So I don't agree with that. Now, I'm not saying the thing was rigged. I don't even know if I agree with that, that it was. I'm just saying, though, but it makes sense. Like you thought you were going to win with Hillary. You didn't. You screwed Bernie. First of all, the Democrats screwed Bernie. We all know that whether you're on the left or the right or whatever you are, you know, they screwed Bernie Sanders. They screwed him and he took it because he's a pussy. I was going to vote for him, but he's a pussy. So I was going to vote for Bernie Sanders, but then they they stole it from him, in which it's been proven. It's in all the books, and everybody knows about it. Um, and he just rolled over, and then he was like, I'll take another car. <laughs> I'll look like a bunch of car. <laughs> and so he got screwed, and Hillary ran, and Hillary lost to the outsider, Donald Trump, which you can't, you can't help but cheer for, right? The murderous, badass, evil fucking Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump, a guy who's never been in politics. I mean, he's the guy to cheer for. He's the underdog. Hillary is a evil, murderous bitch. Donald Trump is a dickhead, but he's a businessman, and he's an outsider. Hillary's been in politics for like fucking 50 years. Donald Trump's been in it for zero. So he's the underdog that you root for. He won. They were surprised. And here's the thing. I don't think it's that Joe Biden won. I don't think it's that Joe Biden had a bunch of his support. Do you, a lot of people don't realize that. You ever see people tweet like, eight, 80 million votes. Yeah, right. 50 million, whatever it was. Oh, eight, 8 million votes. Oh, yeah, right. No, it's not that Joe Biden got that many votes. It's that people wanted to vote against Trump. It's not that Joe Biden is popular. He wasn't. He was just the guy running against Trump. And people would be like, you really think all those people came out to vote against Trump? Yes. Because politics is a seesaw. And Hillary Clinton lost to Trump because people were that mad on the right and the middle. People like me, people like me who I'm a liberal. I was a liberal and I voted. For, I wanted to vote the other way because I hated Hillary Clinton so much for stealing it from Bernie. The second that Hillary stole it from Bernie and stole it illegally, stole it from Bernie, I said, fuck that. I hope Donald Trump wins. And then he did. And so people were surprised that Trump won. And then the whole country, especially on the left side, hated Trump. Even Republicans started hating Trump. And they came out to vote Biden because they hated Trump. Not because they liked Biden. That's why when people write... Oh, yeah, 80 million votes, sure. No, it's not that they like Biden. They don't. Biden comes on YouTube all the time. Look at the YouTube numbers on the fucking streams. They're dead. Has anyone seen this from the White House on YouTube? They are dead. The numbers are dead. Dude, the fucking White House can't get fucking views on YouTube. They are dead. When Trump was president, the fucking... When, when Obama was president, when Trump was president... The YouTube channel for the White House was fucking fire. Now, Joe Biden on YouTube is dead. 
Here it is. 6,000 views, 2,000 views, 4,000 views, 6,000, 8,000, 9,000, 7,000, 23,000 here because the new press secretary took over and people went to look at what she looks like. 8,000, 8,000, 10,000, 3,000, 2,000, 6,000, 15,000, 5,000. I almost get more views. Scroll down. Three weeks ago, 6,000, 16, 10, 16, 12, 13, 6, 11. You would think hundreds of thousands of people would be viewing this shit. And I think they deleted, they might have deleted the videos from when Trump was in office. But when Trump was in office delivering these, he was getting over 50,000 views, I think. And I could be wrong, and we're going to try to find out if I can figure it out. But I'm pretty sure Trump got a shitload more views. 6,000, 12,000, 11,000, 7,000, 9,000, 6,000, 14, 25, 13, 15, 11, 18, 38, 19, 15, 58, 11, 36, 46, 55, 28, 28, 69, 28, 19, 24, 20, 51, 20. He was doing better back here. 9, 13, 15. Let's just go to the ones where he's talking. Biden's talking. He's, oh, it's, this is because COVID, though. This is all the COVID stuff now. 34 with Fauci. Th 15, P Pelosi, whatever. Pl Polanski, whatever the fuck. Uh, Pol Saki. Can't fucking say her name. 20, 13, 14. 15, 20, 11, 17, 17, 12. 24, 14, 16, 44 is a big one here. So, like, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get to when Trump was still in office. If They they might have deleted him, though. But, dude, Obama and Trump got, I believe, way more views than Joe Biden. 24, 35, 66, 16, 19, 25, 29, 27, 36. Harris does terrible. Let's see what else we got. We'll go to wrestling talk. If you guys want to talk about wrestling or anything else like that, too, feel free to uh, let me know what you want to talk about. We'll talk about anything. Anything's on the table. And since I'm sort of an independent and I'm not going to preach to you guys what you should do, I'll never do that. So I don't want to get into politics and telling anybody what to do at all. I'm not going to do that with you guys because I hate when I listen to somebody I like and they start telling me all the, what their politics are. Fuck off. You know, I don't want to listen to that. So I'm not doing that to you guys. I'm not a, I'm not left, I'm not right. I'm just kind of ranting about everything I see. 84, 64, 7, 27, 28, 29, 42. He's got more views back here a year ago. Um, what year is it? Can I go back to the beginning of this instead of doing it this way? Can I sort? Oh, sort by. Let's sort by. Let's sort by oldest. Oh, yeah, they, they did. They deleted the stuff from when Trump was president. Hey, what's up, Joe? What up? How's it going? I was laughing so hard at you making fun of the lack of views on the White House YouTube. <laughs> if you really want to laugh, look up 2020 Biden virtual live stream campaign where he is speaking literally in his basement. It's cringe. Oh, my God. I think I've seen that. But, yeah, unfortunately, they deleted the Trump ones. But I'm telling you, Trump had a lot more views. It was crazy. He had, like, I think hundreds of thousands of views. Because everybody was watching it to be like, what the fuck is he doing? You know, what's he going to say? You know, that sort of thing. So it was hilarious to watch that. That shit was funny. I miss, I miss <laughs> the Trump White House fucking videos were just... <laughs> We're too funny, man. Sagbag just subscribed to the channel. What's up, Sagbag? How you doing? Take out your sag bag and show it to me. Okay? Show me your sag bag. Yeah, I mean, you would think they would be archived somewhere. They might be. I don't know if they unpublic them or, you know, put them on private or... Not really sure, but they, they're not on there anymore. They deleted everything. But I'm telling you, man, maybe uh, maybe you can find them somehow on, um, um, Social Blade. I doubt it, though, because they probably delete them, so, um, let me see. Let's see. The White House gets a B. All right, let's see. Yeah, the oh yeah, here we go. 
When did Biden take office? In 2020, right? Yeah, so when, when Trump was in office, hundreds of thousands. Look at that. Um, but yeah, interesting though. So, I mean, like, I guess if you have that much, if you have that many people that love you, remember, think he's probably got that many people that hate him too. It would explain, I mean, to me, it's just logical. I think it's that that many people hated Trump. Think about it. There's got to be a, tons of people that hate Trump, but that many people liked him enough to, to get him elected the first time, but also that many people hate him. And that's why they voted Joe Biden. I believe, you know, I don't think it's that these people like Joe Biden. They don't judging by his Joe Biden's numbers are dead. Nobody likes him. Um, he's just the other person. But anyway, um, interesting talk we had there, but, uh, Elon Musk will bring, uh, Trump back to Twitter. When he gets into Twitter, um, we talked about the WWE being exposed by the Brock Lesnar guy. We talked about it the other night, but I just, I didn't know it was the Brock Lesnar guy who broke it. You know what I mean? Interesting. But wherever you are, I hope you guys hit that like button and stick the thumb directly up my anus and you keep it wet and hard because that's what you got to do. You got to keep it wet and hard. And I had a fucking crazy day. All right. Well, there you have it. This guy's getting paid by AEW now, so he's like, you know what? I have no problem calling out that they put my face on there when I'm not there because I get paid by AEW now. They're using my likeness, God damn it. That's what Brock Lesnar guy's thinking. He's like, yo, they're, they're using my fucking likeness, bro. What's up with this? I think it's so funny that they use this guy's crowd shots during a real pay-per-view over and over again. By the way, don't you just want to rip this shirt off him and club him in the head with a dildo? Cheers, everybody. Oh, my God. Was I inciting violence? <laughs> How about this guy that dressed up like Dusty Rhodes? Cody looks like he's cringing. Like, oh my God. Let me tell you something, daddy. My son grew up to be the son of a plumber with bigger arms than me. You ain't seen nothing until you seen Sapphire shit a pants on the Australia tour, WWF 1993, 1991, daddy. Sapphire took a dump in a pants on the road. On the road. You talk about a common man. Sapphire took a common shit. That guy is a mark for himself. You're right. It's kind of annoying, huh? I agree with that. If you're watching this on replay, leave a comment, leave a like, share the video, and leave a super thanks if you want to support the video. Thanks to everybody for being here. I was a Navy SEAL. Well, you know something? Infowars.com is returning only on Twitter. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I'll be. I'll have a hobgoblin as one of my co-hosts. And Stone Cold Steve Austin will be there too. 
you know, the only thing that would make Twitter a better place is if my brother Owen Hart was given an honorary Twitter account where he could tweet a picture of Linda McMahon's vagina every single Monday night. She's the breast there is, the breast there was. And you know, she'd be the breast there ever would be if the hitman was in her. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh. Deba. Hey, what's up, Joe? What up? Can you please, please go back to your Beat the Clock live stream? Fast forward to 5 hours, 28 minutes, 45 seconds. Hilarious. No okay. Let me see what you're talking about. Beat the Clock from, what, Saturday night? Was it this week? Let's see. Well, uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds is actually going to stream the first episode free. God damn. The first episode was so good, they're going to stream it free for everybody. There were some problems with the episode, but I lo- I really liked it. Much better than all the other new Star Trek has been terrible. There it is right there. Look at that link to it. You're going to get to watch it for free. That's pretty cool. Before you decide to buy Paramount Dildo. Uh, five hours and what? Let's see. Mm. Beat the clock. <laughs> you said uh, five hours and 28 minutes. I know that most of us, you know, we don't want to see that happen, but we could really make some money off these motherfuckers with, a hand, with an ant. Little from my urethra. Oh. Mrs. Crony, would you engage in orgy with Joe? Nice. <laughs> 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 Best we will use AJ Adams' blood as lube. Oh my god. Oh. The only thing she would do with the group of us is maybe kill us, and Joe better help or he's going to. AJ, AJ Adams' blood is sickle cell rid, and you don't want any of that. Hey, hey. <laughs> Dude, I'll take whatever the blood is that's going to kill me. Give me some good stuff. Yeah, does AJ have his blood cells because we're half black and half white? You don't want any of that. Hey, hey. <laughs> Dude, I'll take whatever the blood is that's gonna kill me. Give me some good stuff, like you know, whatever. It'll be you got. Adams. It'll be AJ Adams because his white blood cells the, yeah. uh, are gonna black. Are gonna? I mean, with his black blood cells. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Listen, right? Look. Well, we talked about abortion the other day, and I had a song for you. Good night, everybody. The fucking Bruins lost tonight, too. That sucked. Do what I need, cause if it turns into a baby, I can always kill it, kill it. Come up in me, come up in me, do what I need. Cause if it turns into a baby, I can always kill it, kill it. Come up in me, come up in me, do what I need. Cause if it turns into a baby, I can always kill it, kill it. Come up in me. Come up in me, come up in me, come up in me, do what I need, cause if it turns into a baby, I can always kill it, and kill it, do what I need, baby just come up in me, yeah do what I need, cause I can always kill it, we can always just kill it, come up in me, come up in me, give it to me, come up in me, cause if it turns to a baby, can always kill it, or just kill it, just kill it. It's my body and I can kill it, I can kill it. Oh, come up in me, do what I need. Cause if it turns into a baby, I can always kill it, kill it, kill it. I'm going to work, I just had to slip a coat hanger up my girl's skirt. I love abortions. That's why I support them So come up in me Do what I need Do what I please If it turns into a baby We can always kill it Kill it Kill it
just get it, motherfucking kill it, choke it, kill it, stab it, nah, then I got a gun and I'll shoot it, fuck a fucking fetus blows up in my face, I'm all over the place, I'm a fucking crazy. <laughs>